Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Thursday, May 8th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. And we will begin today with news on the cancellations of Fox Comedies, Dads, Enlisted, and Surviving Jack. All three debuted this season. All three could not muster a large enough audience to stay on the air. And the final episode of Surviving Jack will be airing this evening out of American Idol. American Idol, by the way, is officially returning. The network has announced the start dates for its next round of auditions for season 14. NBC has picked up its veteran drama, Law & Order SVU, for a 16th season. This will make SVU the fourth longest-running scripted drama in the history of television. Would you like to take a stab at what the first three longest-running dramas are in TV history? I've mentioned this before. They are tied at number one, Gunsmoke and Parent Law & Order at 20 Seasons, and Feel Good Lassie on CBS at 17 seasons. I used to watch Lassie every Sunday evening. Never missed it. NBC has announced that it will be airing the Olympics on all the NBC Universal platforms through 2032, and the deal closed at a reported $7.5 billion. Not too shabby. Upcoming Fox sitcom Mulaney, which will follow the life of comedian John Mulaney, has had its episode order extended for its first season next season. Originally, Fox ordered just six episodes. It decided to add 10 to the mix. So Mulaney will begin with 16 episodes. TBS has picked up two new comedies. They are called Angie Tribeca, which is a working title, and Buzzies, and its corporate cousin, TNT has picked up new dramas, Proof and Public Morals. These shows will air or begin in 2015. I have more information for you on those shows in today's newsletter and at our website. Turner, by the way, will be unveiling its original programming incentives next Wednesday, smack in the middle of Network Upfront Week. And by the way, Public Morals was a former title of a CBS comedy that aired in 1996. It was canceled after one episode, so I don't know if it's a good idea naming a new series after a show that was axed after just one episode. We'll have to wait and see. Lifetime has announced that the second season of its drama, The Witches of East End, will begin on July 6th, and HBO has picked up its documentary news magazine, Vice, for two more seasons, taking it through 2016. In syndication, Disney ABC has announced that Terry Crews from Brooklyn Nine-Nine has been named the new host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. As I reported last week, Cedric the Entertainer decided to step down after just one season. He replaced Meredith Vieira. Terry Crews is coming in, and I have to tell you, I had a laugh because I received a press release from Disney ABC talking about how friendly and open and relatable Terry Crews is. Well, my personal story about Terry Crews is many years ago, I was at a party at the press tour, and I was in the middle of a conversation with Terry Crews, and along came in Les Moonves into the room. Two seconds later, I was in the middle of a sentence, Terry Crews walked away. So I don't know how relatable he is, but he will be the new host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Coming up on the air tonight is the season finale of Two and a Half Men on CBS. The amazing thing about this show is it's returning next season for its 12th season, which will make it the second longest running scripted comedy in the history of television, tied with My Three Sons and behind The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, which aired for 14 seasons. Today in TV history, let's go back to 1984. Now, many of you thought that the series finale of Happy Days on on that day was the final episode. It featured the wedding of Joni and Chachi. Well, it wasn't the final episode. ABC had five additional episodes of Happy Days. It burned it off that summer. Happy Days aired for ten and a half seasons. It produced 255 episodes. And personally speaking, what bothered me about that 
wedding of Joni and Chachi was, where was Patsy and Ralph? They always hung around. They were on the show for many years. They never came back. And according to Anson Williams, who played Patsy, I think the reason was ABC didn't want to spend the money. But Joni and Chachi got married on this day, 1984. That means they are celebrating. It's This is insane. 30 years of marriage, Joni and Chachi. They've been married 30 years. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this eighth day of May. I thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you back tomorrow. Take care.